Hi, you should subscribe to the Menara's Cup. Because the Principal of Saints told you to, idiot. Bye. What's good, guys? This is James bringing another deck profile today. MenarasClubYouTube.com. I figured, why not bring you guys an updated profile for one of the reasons 2020 sucked a lot, and that's going to be the Vegex leader right here. So this is going to be for after the ban list. So this is going to be a 2021 Vegex deck list. Uh, I think he's still really good. He's still going really strong. He lost some of his most broken potential with the uh, burn from the uh, Mass Saiyan going away, but he's still stupid good, stupid consistent, and uh, really aggressive. So... We've got the leader, we all know what he does. He bursts five, uh, and then he can awaken at 20 cards in your drop area, or at four or less life. And on the backside, he still bursts five, and then he can also give your unison double strike for the turn. So, pretty good. He's, he is he is Vegex, so we all know how he goes. Uh, we'll start with the staples. We've got four of all of our time agent cards. You don't leave home without these. These are your best cards. These are the reasons to play the deck. Four, 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 and four. These come into play for free. You play them. Free cards are awesome. Alright, so I moved away. These are the cards that pulled. I'm adding in to replace the uh, Trunks Elite Descendant package, where I've got a couple of one... Thank you, Dee Dee. <laughs> I, got a, I just added in a pair of aggressive one-drops into the deck um, to replace that instead. So we're losing a lot of our self-awakened potential by losing the... Mass Saiyan Burn, so we add in these Dark Power Mass Saiyans to help us get those life taken, as well as him just being an absolutely insane card in the current format. Kind of a, kind of an old mistake that still lives on, and uh, you know I'm happy to enjoy using him as long as I can. He's great. Uh, Haru Haru, Shun Shun Sister. Uh, this guy just has Double Strike as long as you have a Unison in play, and guess what? You can play your Unison for free, and your leader digs five every turn to try and hit him. So you're going to have a Unison in play a lot of the time. So, 15k double strike for one. Yeah, that's pretty good. But who har who's Haru Haru? It's Shun Shun's sister. It says right there. <laughs> who's Shun Shun? It's Haru Haru's sister. I don't, I don't know why this is confusing. It all makes sense now. Alright, over Realm cards, we have three SS3 Son Goku and on a mission. This guy's just a critical double strike over Realm 6. Mm -hmm. Stupid good card. Your leader bursts five. Now that we're not playing Trunks Elite Descendant, who was one of your earlier Overrealm plays, you're going to end up with the 6 and the drop to do this a lot more frequently on turn 2. Uh, so this is going to be a uh, turn 2 play. You really want to play him on 2, along with a couple of your, you know, you got your 1 drops out, and maybe some of your free plays. You get super aggressive, and it's uh, going to clean your opponent's clock. Then we have this uh, SS4 Bardock going up the Super Saiyan chain. This is SS4. This guy overrealms. He's got dual attack, and he overrealms for 3 black. And then when you play him, you warp two random cards from your opponent's hand. So this is going to be one of your finishers, turn three, turn four. Play him, knock a couple of negates out of your opponent's hand, or, you know, their super combos, whatever they're stockpiling to try and stop you on your kill turn. You get a 30k dual attacker along the same time, and then theoretically you can awaken your leader, get an energy back, and uh, go to town on their life. You get an energy back to, you know, use a chompa or whatever, so... Uh, this is kind of the overrealm package I've been enjoying a lot. Um, you don't want to overrealm too much because you do want to keep your drop intact for your alternate awakening. Uh, but doing an overrealm on two, and then another one on turn three or four, if you're in if you're in in line to win the game, you can do this. And uh, oftentimes you will be winning the game if you resolve him. So, and we've got the Vegex package. I am running the uh, Patara lineup because I do enjoy it. Uh, I like it for when the games go a little bit longer. You can't always guarantee you're just going to blitz them out on turn two or turn three. And uh, for games that you end up having to actually play real DBS, these are the cards that are going to save you. Um, this The Father-Son Bonds is the champ pack promo that can play for free if you have three or more energy. Uh, if you mill him. You don't like need him. Um, I know he's a little harder to get. I just kind of threw him in because I had them, but you can play other cards over him, like an extra one of each of these or something. Um, I just like him for the little bit of extra consistency it adds for this lineup. Uh, and then you have um, the Vegex that can uh, Patara from your warp and play him, and then the one that can Xeno Evolve and then grab a card from your warp. So nice little mid-range option to kind of pivot into a little bit more of a value game plan if they're starting to like dormant lock you out or you know your broly opponent pulls a bunch of violent rays on you or something and then you can just still still kind of keep up in the card advantage race and then coming back into some of the tech here we've got 
Majin Buu, Wickedness Incarnate. This is kind of the same idea as the Vegex. It helps keep you in the game longer, um, giving you some value, recurring value, out of your drop. And it's it's free, so worst case scenario, you put it in your drop area, you don't end up using it. Best case scenario, you get two free cards. It's awesome. Three Chompa? <laughs> I mean, Chompa's good, right? Like, And we have the slots to play with. Um, like I said, you're going to end up wanting to spend energy on your turn to awaken so you'll like pay three on turn three and then awaken and then you'll end up having energy and you can that's perfect for using a chompa on your leader your unison your time agent vegeta your bardock with dual attack any of those things that don't naturally have double strike just give it double strike and close the game out really easy chompa is as chompa does I'm rounding the bases here we've got vegeta the prince strikes back there's going to be trouble this guy is uh, your super black super combo. If you have four or less life, you can put a card on the bottom and draw two. Crazy good filtering. It's also a Union Patara target if it's in your warp, um, if you mill it early, so that's really nice. Um, I've messed around with the uh, trunks, the sparking trunks, but uh, having sparking in this deck with all the Overrealm is uh, kind of rough. Um, I don't really see it as consistently, um, Where so you just kind of want to lean into these more. I could also see doing a split with the Bobbity, just because the Bobbity is always online, and I do like that. Um, so that's a consideration. This is one of the things I could mess around with the, with the deck. I could see like two and two with Bobbity, or like one Bobbity, and then three of these or whatever, but like you can kind of mess with that how you want. And then closing out, we've got three Power Bursts. This is kind of your best generic negate in black. It can grab back a Black Mass Saiyan. It can grab back... Uh, Supreme Kai of Time, which is, you know, absolutely stupid because you go negate an attack and then get back a pseudo super combo for your next attack. This is crazy good defense. We're not going to have sparking a ton just because of that early overwhelming. That's why we only play three, and we're not super concerned about defense until we're at the four life threshold anyway. We'll even take, we'll take like a double strike crit hit or something. It, our life doesn't really matter. Uh, we just want to get down to awakening as soon as possible. Um, and then the power burst will help us kind of stabilize and not just completely just get randomly blown out so yeah that's the deck guys it's really straightforward a bunch of four ofs it's honestly really cheap to build now with the uh the limit on trunks elite descendant made the deck a lot more affordable because you don't need the uh promo vegetas anymore which was the primary cost of the deck they were at like 50 bucks a copy for a little bit whereas now the rest of this deck is super cheap Definitely recommend it. Vegex is still really strong he's only gonna get stronger the more black cards that are introduced um and uh, yeah, if you like playing aggro, this is, a good, this is a good way to do it. Thanks for checking us out, guys. Make sure to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and uh, we'll try and bring you some more content going into 2021. Bye.